urology you can use a, a normally a 2d is used wherein you get this section in which use a 3 megahertz probe and that probe has a 16 uh, megahertz and you are able to use it for soft tissue for breast for thyroid and testis apart from this you have another probe which is a 3d ultrasound or a 4d ultrasound which is used in the evaluation of the testes. And this is the only probe in the country that is being used in the, scro in the scrotal ultrasound. And it gives very high quality, precise information of the scrotum. And in fact, we are working in areas of developing this technology. For example, when you look at this testes, you are seeing the, the skin thickness you are also see, seeing the internal tissue and you are also seeing different planes. And you can also see the epidermis very, very clearly and you can also see cysts in the epidermis. So in a male, using scrotal ultrasound, we can tell certain amount of problems in the testis and also certain amount of problems in the epidermis. This gives us good quality of information. The third area of information you get is whether the right and the left testis are normal or not and whether any problem is there in the testis. You can also see any types of abnormality and difference between right and left testis. You can also see whether the blood flows that are coming in are normal or abnormal in the spermatic cord. So you can essentially see all the images in the testis and come to a conclusion using scrotal Doppler. Here you are able to see the blood flows of the testis using this probe where I can magnify it and see the small vessels that are seen. In cases with absence of sperm, the presence of vessels will sometimes say sperms are there at that particular field and taking a biopsy at that region will help us to pick sperms in non-obstructive isospermia. I'll be also showing you another e image of the similar thing, wherein I can change the tissue here and look at any abnormality that is there. Here you're seeing the testis in different shapes, and then here you're seeing the vessels, and this vessel diameter can be measured. Here you're seeing an epidermis on the left side and right side. And you can also measure the internal structures of the epidermis to get a better view using a 3D ultrasound or a 4D scrotal Doppler. Here we are able to pick up the vessels so that it helps us to precisely locate where the sperms are and take a biopsy. So you can pan the images and look at it for vascularity. In this, I can measure the distances. I can also look at the circumference or other things and also measure the thickness of the blood vessels so that I know how much of blood flow is happening in turn helps this. This scrotal ultrasound also picks up certain early cancers which are sometimes pr present in the testes. So using scrotal ultrasound will help us to find additional causes of male factor infertility. It also helps us to find out whether there is that particular problem can be treated with medication or only, only technology can be used. And third thing is whether the count is going to get reduced in future. These are the uses of a scrotal ultrasound in the current context.